Hello guys, welcome to this video. Today, we'll be discussing my new FPV build. As you may know, a few months ago, I lost my Recon 5 in the river, which is why I'm here with you to build a new one. In this video, I won't dwell too much on certain aspects, so if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask in the comments below. But for now, I'll let you dive into the video. Before taking off, it's essential to understand the true meaning of FPV. FPV stands for First Person View, essentially allowing the pilot to experience the drone's perspective in real time. This is made possible through the goggles, similar to those used in augmented reality. In this way, the pilot has complete control over the drone and can capture incredible and adrenalinic footage. Now, let's move on to the foundational components of my drone. So, let's talk a bit about my first build. With this build, I wanted a drone that was very lightweight but, at the same time, could carry a complete GoPro. In fact, the drone, with a GoPro Hero 11 Black and a 13.0 mAh battery, weighs only 670 grams. I aim for a drone that is stable in windy conditions, but also very agile in certain maneuvers. In short, I arrived at the construction of this drone, drawing inspiration from the CST FPV build, which I thank. I will leave his complete video in the description. Also, I can mount the battery underneath to better distribute the weight and the GoPro to capture images closer to the ground. In practice, this is the perfect drone for those who want a lot of autonomy in flight, as well as a lot of power and, above all, impressive video quality in the goggles, thanks to the DJI O3, which we will talk about later. Now, let's move on to the components. We have a 5 inches frame, a Range X Mini from a Switzerland company, Frame CH. The first component is the flight controller, which is the main part of the drone. The flight controller oversees everything in the drone, from the ESC to the GPS. In this build, I chose an HGLRC Zeus Mini, accompanied by an ESC also from HGLRC, a 4-in-1 with 28 amps, controlling the four motors. This component is essential for the proper functioning of the motors. Now, let's talk about the motors. The motors are Xnova 2204 with 18 OKV, perfect for a 6S configuration. This setup allows for efficiency and power simultaneously. Moving on to the video signal, it is transmitted by the DJI O3, renowned for its high-quality video, so much so that it can effectively replace a GoPro and increase flight autonomy. Finally, we have the Crossfire receiver. This component facilitates communication with the radio. Now, let's head to the studio to assemble everything. The assembly was an engaging experience. However, I must be honest, it wasn't an entirely relaxing task. I started by soldering the motors to the ESC, using a bit of flux to facilitate the soldering. Then, I moved on to mounting the O3 on the frame. Later, I proceeded to solder the receiver for radio signal, a TBS Nano RX with an Immortal T antenna. After installing the flight controller, I moved on to configuring the drone. This step involves the use of software called Betaflight. The first thing is the accelerometer. Then I set the ports to which I connected the various components. For now I won't activate the GPS because I haven't mounted it yet. I'll do it in the next video. Then we have the tuning that will improve the flight performance of the quad. We have the radio inputs. And the motors. Finally, the OSD, in which I put the parameters that I will display on the goggles. In a spacious open area, our Range X Mini comes to life. The experience of high-speed flight and acrobatic maneuvers represents the flawless synergy among the various components. 
I immediately noticed that the drone performs very well in flight, finding it stable and responsive. Additionally, there are no strange vibrations in the final shots taken with a GoPro Hero 11 Black, a contrast to what I observed with my previous Recon 5. We conclude our journey into assembling my first FPV drone. I hope this shared experience has inspired you and provided valuable insights. Leave a comment to share your experiences or ask questions. Thank you for watching the video, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.